Hello everyone, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn for this week. So let's see, please tell me about Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect this week? Please tell me about Capricorn this week. What's going to happen this week in the life of Capricorn? Now, Capricorn, first of all, I want to tell you that love is, whoa, <laughs> this week, uh, you're going to have some very romantic moments with someone. Um, this person is definitely interested in you. Uh, this person uh, is definitely in love with you. They have strong feelings for you. And I think these feelings are mutual. I think you are also in love with this person and uh, you correspond um, with, uh, with their feelings. I see them as a fire sign male. Genders could be reversed, of course, or the sign could be different. But this is someone who shows up with an energy of a person who is ambitious. A person who knows what they want. Um, very expansive kind of person. This is not someone shy. No, this is someone confident. This is someone who believes in themselves and uh, someone who uh, believes in this love with you, in this connection with you. Now, another thing I'd like to say here uh, for you this week, there are going to be some problems in the workplace. And these problems are going to have to do with documentation, legal matters, an institution, uh, if it's not the, the workplace, it's simply an institution you're going to have to deal with. And the problem here is that these people are going to give you some negative answers. This, these people you're going to be dealing with are not going to be very open towards you or willing to help you. Expect them to, to give you negative answers or um, uh, even delays. And uh, you're going to start thinking, how much longer is this going to take? How much longer do I have to wait to get this solved? Um, you're going to be disappointed with the um, interaction that you're going to have with these people uh, this week because uh, they're just simply going to be bitter towards you. And um, not in the sense that they hate you, but just, you know, their demeanor. Uh, towards you is just not going to be positive. Um, I don't see arguments or anything. I just see disappointment and worries um, from you when it comes uh, from to this because it's just hard to collaborate um, um, with uh, with these people. Okay, so that was the reading with the tarot cards. Now let's see what these other cards have to say. Please tell me about Capricorn this week. What's their surprise? What can they expect as a surprise? What's coming towards Capricorn this week that they don't know about? What's their surprise this week? Yeah. Um, I get the same... Uh, message here you know these people or at least one of this person that's going that you're going to be dealing with and i said that the collaboration is simply not going to be smooth towards you is someone who is actually bitter towards you you know i said it earlier and i took it back well <laughs> i shouldn't have because i see it here this person is jealous towards you and because of that they're trying to sabotage you maybe that's too much said but there's some jealousy involved here um and this person simply doesn't want to make you succeed and that's why they're 
causing problems for you and issues for you and uh, here in these cards they show up as uh, an older man um, possibly a man with dark colored eyes and uh, an, uh, sorry dark colored hair but lighter colored eyes and it's definitely someone in the workplace or from an institution i see this man as someone who wears a uniform a doctor police officer something like that um, and they could also be a lawyer um, they could also be a businessman if uh, it's about an institution you know where you have to wear a suit at work but it just so in any case this isn't someone who wears wears casual clothes at at work it's either a uniform or a suit or something along those lines and um as i said this man just doesn't want to see you succeed and it's someone who could even be talking about you behind their back behind your back like things like oh i can't stand capricorn or oh capricorn is like this and like that and you, you, there could be some gossip uh, behind your back and I know that's not really typical of man, men but I see this guy doing it he's talking behind your back with these people with the group of people I saw earlier so yeah think about it Capricorn if you know something like that in your life um, all right now let's see what these other cards have to say I'm going to pull out three piles with three different messages and you're going to have to choose one so uh let's see please tell me about capricorn capricorn this week what messages can you give me for capricorn this week what's going to happen in their life uh this week capricorn three piles the first the second and the third Go ahead and pick one using your intuition. Okay, so let's see. For the first group. Yeah, this guy again. <laughs> it's the same guy. The one I spoke about earlier. The man from the institution. Uh, the man in a uniform. Uh, so this uh, talk with this person yeah you're definitely going to talk to this person this week and it's going to be about a large sum of money and that's the problem here when it comes to this institution this workplace you're going to to deal with uh, where you're going to meet this person the talk is going to be about money and a large sum of money not uh, about i don't know docu documentation or approvals or no it's something that actually has to do with money um and that's possibly why this person is going to have this attitude towards you because whatever it is you know has a lot of responsibility and so on so that's what probably why they're not really that open and to, they're not really willing to be open straight away to to this it it could even be a, a boss and um let's say you're asking for a raise or promotion and they're like oh if i promote capricorn i would have to pay them more and um you know what uh, and then they're going to turn and t tell others you know what the capricorn doesn't really do a good job so they they don't deserve to be promoted anyway something along those lines now let's see for the second group oh, second group there you are same story and this group of people that i spoke about earlier again i see a man and two women one woman could be you the other could be someone else or um two other women besides you or whatever but uh now i i see the group of people and uh, problems with them disappointments as i said earlier harsh words not not exactly insults or anything like that but what they're going to tell you is going to leave you disappointed and uh, just for some of you these people might actually make you cry the what they tell you you might actually end up crying 
Now, for the third, the third group is um, the, <laughs> this is the, the, the love story. Uh, because as, as I said uh, in tarot cards, uh, besides this work uh, problem and this uh, issue with this institution, uh, I also saw that on the uh, love front, things are great. Well, yeah, this is a, a message for those people. Yeah, uh, when it comes to your romantic life, love is great. Uh, you're doing very well. You are um, on, on board with this person. They love you. You love them. Uh, this is a mutual love. Um, there might even be some other person who's in love with you besides this partner. Uh, I, I see it as two men here. Uh, one with lighter colored hair, one with darker colored hair. Okay, so, uh, I, and I think your partner is the one with lighter colored hair. Because it's him I see you in um, such good uh, tandem with. But there might also be a brunette one who's interested in you. Okay, so uh, that was the reading with these cards. Now let's see some messages from Spirit. I'm going to pull out three, and you're going to have to choose one. Capricorn, Capricorn this week. The first, Capricorn. Capricorn this week, what do they need to hear? The second, Capricorn. The third. Okay, so go ahead and choose one using your intuition. Okay, so let's see the first message. It takes a strong person to remain single in a world that is accustomed to settling with anything just to say they have something. All right, so I think this this message sounds romantic, but it's actually, in your case, about that financial issue with the institution. It takes a strong person to speak up and demand their rights. Um, if you think you deserve to be promoted, if you think you deserve to get that loan approved or whatever it is, it takes a strong person to speak up in such a context, especially when there are others who are not on board and are looking to cause them trouble, okay? So, um, this message definitely te is telling you that you have to stand your ground and demand your rights, your race, or if something that you're entitled to, don't just settle with anything they give you. All right, so let's see the second. Wait for the person who will do anything to be your everything. Okay, I also think this message is also in that um, uh, context of, of, uh, of uh, the institution. And it's basically telling you that perhaps um, you should, um, if these people give you a negative answer, you should wait until something better, a better workplace comes into your life that will offer you everything. But like, go go and look for something else. Yeah. All right, and let's see the the the, the third. I've been doing a lot of whatever the fuck I want lately, and I like it. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. I think you, you, you group are like a bit more reckless this week, and uh, you've got um that attitude of uh yeah, I'm going to confront these people. Fuck that. I'm just going to say what's on my mind, and uh, I'm going even they if they give me a negative answer, I'm just going to be happy that I spoke out and uh, that I uh, I uh, I said I said it. You know. It, it, it was hard to say it, but I said it, okay? So uh, that was it. That was the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some clarity from it. Uh, like this video if you liked the reading. 
write me comments, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. Um, I wish you good luck with your situation and I'll see you again in my next uh, readings. Bye for now.